What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another Blu-ray DVD and one VHS update. I always do these every two months. If you're new to my channel, I decided to cut back on them and go every two months because I don't really buy that much anymore every month since I'm saving up for a dream car. So that's the reason why I do every two months. So let me kick it off really quick and show you the VHS that I bought. And that's the Halloween limited edition VHS set to where both of the VHSs are orange. Did not come with the keychain, which I don't care. I'm just glad to have this set. I love it so much to be able to have it in my collection. And this is number 34,216 out of 40,000. I went into detail in and in, um, almost said inboxing. I meant to say unboxing. I did a video on it, so if you go back a few videos, you'll see it if you want to see more details about it. I also did another unboxing video, and it was of the Cheech and Chong's Up in Smoke 40th Anniversary deluxe edition i absolutely love it it's like one of my favorite things i added in this room it's one of my favorite comedies of all time kills me every time i watch it no matter how many times i see the scenes i just die of laughter i love this movie you got to get the vinyl set if you love this movie but it comes with the soundtrack the vinyl it comes with rolling papers which i've never smoked in my whole life and i never plan on doing that and Comes with a little seven-inch picture vinyl. I might once again. I might want to go into detail of it. I almost did there. Sorry. I just love talking about this movie. It's one of my favorites. But if you want to see more of a detailed version of this, just go back a few videos or so or whatever. You'll see me do an unboxing of this, and I'll show up close uh, shots of it. So I think you'll enjoy it. Okay. The next one up is the most overrated comic book movie in history. Two main reasons. One, I was told it was better than The Winter Soldier, which is my favorite cinematic movie in the Marvel Universe. Okay, people have different opinions, that's fine. But, when I'm told it's better than The Dark Knight, and that is no lie. I read that in a couple blogs, or maybe it was on, uh, shoot, what was it? Doesn't matter where I read it. I know I read it, but then I was told in person. People were actually going, this is actually better than The Dark Knight. Okay, I'm trying to breathe. After I seen this movie, I'm getting really mad at that. I'm like, where? That's the Black Panther. This movie actually was the most overrated movie of probably, when did this come out? 2017 or 2018? I don't remember when it came out exactly. Of course, the 4K Blu-ray came out this year, but I can't remember if it was released late last year or early this year. But I will say... It's the most overrated movie in my opinion. I did not see where the movie was when people were comparing this like better than the Avengers, better than the third Thor. People were actually saying that in the comment section and many videos where people are reviewing it. They're saying this blew away the third Thor movie. I like the third Thor movie better than this. Okay, but overall, yeah, it's my opinion. But you got to admit, if you got a home theater set up, this is one of the worst movies released in recent times with the audio quality. It was atrocious, it was terrible, it was bad. It's up there with Age of Ultron. It's that bad in audio quality. I just don't know what Disney is doing when they transfer to 4K and Blu-ray. It's like, what are they doing when they mix this stuff? It's terrible the way it sounds. And that stupid joke I hate so much though is, what are those joke being thrown into this movie? That didn't help me out either to like this movie. So overall, I just thought, I thought it was okay. Could have been better, just overhyped. Okay, the next one that I bought, it was only three bucks. When I was doing some grocery shopping, I'm thinking, I need a longer cord for my subwoofer. They didn't have any in Walmart, so I was just like, whatever, I'll just get my groceries. And when I was walking by, I saw the $3 dump bin, and this was on top. Tori says she'd never seen this movie, so I had to buy it. And that is Three Amigos. Such a fun movie. I love this movie, and... Can't believe I never had it in my collection. And for three bucks, I'm like, perfect time to buy it. So she watched it. She loved it. I think that everyone should have this movie in their collection. If you love those 80s and 90s comedy movies and you haven't seen this yet, you got to pick this up and add it to your collection. After I got the three Amigos, they had the DVD bin here. And then a little bit past that was the Blu-ray bin. I think it's like $5 or something like that. Can't remember because I bought this last month. And once again, Tori says she's never seen it. I had to get it from my collection because I actually like this movie. That's The Water Boy. 
I really highly enjoyed this movie. I think it's funny. She thought the same thing. She thought it was pretty cool. So I don't know why it took forever to add it to my collection, but overall, I'm happy to have it in my collection now. Okay, the next one up on this list is the one that I was absolutely blown away by because this is a movie that I was not expecting to be good at all. And a little quick story, the very first DVD I had ever, I still remember to this day, was Tomb Raider. My sister bought me a PS2 for Christmas and I was like, hey, it plays DVDs. Around that time, it was the new technology. DVDs were fresh. They were hot off the plates. And I still remember it was media play for about 28 bucks. That's where I bought it. Tomb Raider was the first DVD I ever owned and was not expecting it to be good at all. But the new Tomb Raider, I absolutely loved it, loved it, loved it. This movie right here, in my opinion, unless if I'm not thinking of another one, I think it's probably the best video game movie out there today. Now, I have not seen Rampage yet. I heard that was pretty fun, to, especially for the people with home theater setups and good surround sound, but haven't seen that yet. But unless if I'm not thinking of any other ones, comment below if there's a better movie than this that's video game related, but I absolutely loved it. The girl who played her in Ex Machina or whatever her name is, I forgot that quick. Oh, it's right there. Duh. She killed the role of Tomb Raider. I really hope they do more movies with her in it because I thought she did good in this role. Pretty good storyline. I thought it was fun. And toward the end, when it started getting into the where, I don't want to say what happens when they find this thing inside of like a little tomb. Don't want to say what happens, don't want to spoil it if you haven't seen it, but that's when it started feeling like a video game movie because you're like, that don't happen in real life. But overall, highly enjoyed it. And the last movie that I picked up, and that is my favorite 4K so far. I'm not talking about the best movie, I'm just talking about the best sound quality and the best picture combo. My goodness, this movie was such a blast to watch because it had my house shaking Probably had the neighbors across the streets uh, house shaking too because it was loud with the bass. Man, it had me smiling throughout the whole movie. Absolutely loved it and that is Pacific Rim Uprising. Now, Tori loved watching this because her boyfriend Scott Eastwood, she absolutely loves him. But I enjoyed it just for the sound and picture quality. The movie, I liked the first one better when it came to the storyline. The first one was it had me blown away because I didn't expect it to be that good. And I'm a fan of things like Godzilla, King Kong, stuff like that. And I didn't expect it to be that good. Blown away by it. Now, I like the first one better than this, but I can't stop talking about the surround sound and the picture quality. Amazing. If you've got a 4K setup, you got a good surround sound action going on, you got to get this for your collection. You won't regret it. And that's going to do it for this video. Thank you everyone for stopping by and watching. And what is your favorite movie that you picked up last month or in the last two months? Let me know in the comments below what is your favorite. And to answer one really quick question, I did get a message the other day saying, can you do a room tour of this room? I will here in about a few months or so. I did have something ordered. It's another mask. You'll see it when I get it. I'll do an unboxing, but I want to make another display box. And... I also want to fill up a couple more spaces on the wall. So once I get that done, I'll do like a little quick room tour, a professional looking one, and that'll be that. And also I do have a Tuesday Blu-ray DVD shopping video coming up in two weeks. I'll be on vacation. I'll be able to go up to Best Buy, Walmart, FYE. I'll have the time to do it. So for those who've been wanting one, I'll have that ready for you. I forget what the date is, the 10th or something like that. I'll have that up for you guys as soon as possible. Thank you once again, everyone, for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'll check you later.